It's real. Nothing. Of course it's not working. It's been sitting here collecting dust since before the Sahara was a desert. Before the Sahara was a desert. Oh, let's just say you do your best thinking when you're not thinking at all. All right, now hold still. Hey, what are you doing? We need water. You need the closest source. Could have just peed on it. In this trident resides the power. Perfect. 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 It's been some years since we talked. It was never back down interview like. I don't even know how many years ago that was. <laughs> and tell me, it never backed down. That was, um, I think, technically a million years ago. Yeah, it was like a million. Yeah, because I'm a million and <laughs> one right now, so, yeah. You know, your ageless beauty and Thank brains. You. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. But, but what a great movie to be a part of. I mean, I, I'm always into, like, why are the fans so engrossed with these superhero movies? But, you know, you watch them and you just see that the spectacle is... is yeah. Just so amazing to be a part of. So how, how does it feel just to be a part of that and have fanboys now that's fanning over you over being in a superhero movie as opposed to the other movies? Uh, it's great to see how people respond to not just our movie, but superhero movies in general. I think people love superhero movies because they embody the kind of struggles uh, and amplify the kind of struggles that we face in everyday life, and they do it through the surrogates of these characters that represent uh, accelerated, um, uh, you know, aspects of our uh, shared humanity. Yeah. You know, the best and the worst elements of humanity are amplified and, and, um, and embodied in, the, in, in our characters, in our villains, in our superheroes. Yeah. And so it kind of does make sense to me why so many people love and get so excited in a special way for this genre. Yeah. And people are loving this movie in particular, which is so amazing for me to kind of as a first time to come into this world and yeah. see people truly excited in such a way and i did go see the movie uh and i sat in an audience uh, you know filled with there were a lot of people dressed as mira and yeah. dressed as yeah. aquaman and that was so cool to see and um and and to 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 watch it though i i see why the they have such a this movie has such power and these movies have such a, a grip on people is because you really are transported. Right. And seeing it in a theater and really, because it's such a submersive experience, I mean, you really are transported to this yeah. incredibly new, incredibly dimensional, colorful, vibrant, you know, su I mean, ultra real um, universe that we've never, unlike anything we've ever seen before. It's yeah. really cool. Who the hell are you? Arthur! Expected water to splash on me from the in, while I was in my theater seats or something. Yeah, yeah. But but really, like, how does it feel to have like 
the action figures and stuff now. I mean, you've done a lot of movies, but now there will be maybe a video game and action figures that's probably modeled off of you. Like, how how different is that to see that part? Of it? I know it was weird. I, you know, I was at a fan signing in uh, at Comic Con, and one of the fans came up, or, or what I thought was a fan, and she said she was writing the Mira spinoff uh, mm. comic book. And I was, oh. I thought that was so. I was like, what? That's crazy. Yeah. And also, why didn't anyone tell me about this? <laughs> it was, um, but yeah, it's cool. It's it, it's kind of weird, you know, uh, to see yourself in in action in 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 Barbie in action figure forms yeah. and in you know yeah. to, you know dolls and stuff it's really it's kind of a, a surreal experience yeah. <laughs> my friends now have um kind of developed this habit of taking Mira dolls that they a box was shipped to my house that I intended to send to my nephews and my friends have a running joke now they just keep hiding the Mira dolls in different places so um, I can have people over and I'll go to open you know the the, the pantry or something and there's a Mira doll sitting on a on a box of chocolate it's like it's I'm, very very bizarre I'm not to my Mira doll but I, I I love seeing you on film so keep on doing your thing but keep on watching or playing with the toys or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I keep discovering them. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thanks. Nice Thank to meet you. Perfect.